In today's class, we will have idea and concepts related to Susurta Samhita, Susurta Sthana, Surgical Importance. Susurta recognized as father of surgery. How he has been recognized as father of surgery will come to know because the fundamentals are there in the system of Ayurveda. Even today, it is a problem. Surgery in Ayurveda is a big issue in the world now. But in the world, Susurta treated as the father of surgery. Even then, it is even then or still it is doubt to the modern society how and why. Because when the concepts have been mentioned in the system of Ayurveda, especially in Salya department, then how people thinking in a negative way, we don't know. Different angles. Let us see. And apart from that, in what way the question comes in PG entrance examinations related to MD, MS, Ayurveda exam, you will come to know. Generally, in Susur Samhita Sutrasthana, 120 chapters are there totally, even point bit. And first chapter, I mean, Sutrasthana deals with what is what, let us see now. First chapter deals with origin of Ayurveda, Ayurveda or Vedotpatti or Vedotpatti. Second chapter deals with initiation of medical student. Sishayana, Sishayana Adhyaya. See, how a Sishya, what are the qualities for a Sishya, everything clearly has mentioned. See, the concept related to the surgery in Ayurveda, step by step, clearly mentioned in the system of Ayurveda. That is why in the world they have recognized, but still, Legally, doubts, so many doubts have been arranged in different angles by different people. It is true. But when the world itself is recognized, again how and why the doubt came and coming. Because it depends upon the thinking, how we are giving importance to the system of Ayurveda, especially Salya Department, Salya Tantra or Surgery in Ayurveda. Anyhow, come to our point, Sutrasthana, first chapter, Susur Samhita deals with Ayurveda, Utpatti or Veda Utpatti. Second chapter, Initiation of Medical Student, Sishayana, Sishayana Adhyaya. Initiation of, Initiation of Medical Student. Third chapter, deals with different branches of, different branches of Medical knowledge. Adhyayana Dhanika. Adhyayana Dhanika. Third chapter is over now. Coming to the fourth chapter deals with the rules for the interpretation and explanation of the medical text. See, in this chapter, they have clearly mentioned the rules for the interpretation and the explanation of the medical texts. So, this is called Prabhashana. What we are calling, this is called as a Prabhashana. Now, fourth chapter is over. Fifth year coming to preliminary preparation for surgery. See, why I am going through the subject and revealing the facts related to the patient exam. Chapter wise, we are going through. It is a long term course. Those who are joining, those who are subscribing our channel, it will be a benefit in a long term. Short term also will be there, but it is a long term project. I mean, long term course. Join and feel the difference and have a compliment. You can tell the opinion. You can have the stress the either compliments or comments. No objection. You are welcome. Okay. Come to next chapter. Fifth chapter deals with preliminary preparation. Preliminary preparation for surgery. So, fifth chapter deals with preliminary preparation for surgery. So, what is a That means they may the other may I give the chapter or may I ask the chapter number or chapter name or overall stressing the total concept of the chapter and ask in which chapter which sthana what is what. So it is not an easy task preparing for PG entrance is not an easy task you feel how difficult it is really. Next one fifth chapter is over sixth chapter influence of the climate influence of the Climate and seasons on health and drugs. See, 
today even today if you want to do surgery or if you want to give any medicine or introduce any medicine you will see the climate effect seasonal effects on health and drugs you have to consider so many points so blindly sometimes we will we will comment on doctor not working we will comment on system uh, this drugs are not working in ayurveda or the drugs are not working in allopathy like that or yunani homeopathy what are we but here the point is that without knowing the concept without knowing the parameters when we are giving the medicine the drug may work may not work out the drug may work may not work so that is why you have to consider all the points now seventh chapter deals with various types of surgical instrument in seventh chapter sutra sthana clearly he has mentioned the what are the different instruments what is what yantrikas so see you understand in centuries back even today we are following the same instrument the technique is changing the concept is not changing the technique is changing according to the availability of the technique see what do you mean by technique technique is a technological procedure by medas by what is the intelligence what the instrument whatever we are preparing by following the concept see the point is that what you have to note the you are not violating the concept without violating the concept following the same concept to have the better effect and to be a better to be a perfect surgeon you are following the procedure see it is not it is called technology it is called technology so concept is there in ayurveda concept is there shalya is there in ayurveda the surgical procedures are there in ayurveda see the same surgical procedures followed in those days according to situation according to kala according to desha there are so many factors are there is it not now next chapter seventh chapter deals with these different types of the surgical instruments yantrika chapter that is eighth chapter it deals with the proper use and care of the surgical instrument they have clearly mentioned how to use the instruments how to care the instruments you have to take care of instruments also even today we are following the same sterilization is not new here it is there long long back fire is there long long back vessels are there long long back the procedure technology is changing so how we are sterilizing is changing the sterilization process is not changing the concept is one so how we are violating how we are denying the surgery is not there in the system of ayurveda or procedure is there because of the political pressures because of the administration problems because of the government rules and regulations while forming the medical colleges in this in the world this might have been kept aside that may be the reason why it was not followed from the beginning because just now what i have told you procedures are there as per the national medical council for the past many years i am watching the national medical council the concept is there one and same the concept is good the account to the situation available today we are teaching in the sense in account situation we are we are changing what is what is the criteria for teaching as per the national medical council national medical council didn't say something negatively to ayurveda because whatever there in the system of ayurveda for the past many years by clubbing them by uniting them to promote and to promote the system of ayurveda to serve the system to serve the people through ayurveda it was formed then how we are going to say the concepts are of surgery not there the procedures of surgery not there in the system of ayurveda it's wrong okay next you are coming to the next point proper use and care of the surgical instrument chapter number 8 that is so shastrava charana that is the chapter is called as shastrava charana ninth chapter deals with the teaching of surgical methods by actual demonstrations and practical experiments see related to surgery practical demonstrations and surgical practical experiments have been conducted in those days even today we are having the procedure is same according to availability the technology little bit changes are there that is the when the technology changing you cannot you cannot say that it is your concept is different our concept is different we cannot say like that now ninth chapter is over now we are coming to the 10th chapter in the 10th chapter duties of a physician duties of a surgeon the duties and the code of code of conduct for intending physicians clearly mentioned so clearly it is mentioned so now try to understand each chapter name you have to go through the main chapter name you have to go through by mentioning suppose the question may come duties and code of conduct for intending physicians have been mentioned in 
so on so stana, so on so samita, so on so chapter. So you have to go through the chapter name, you have to go through the stana name, you have to go through the samita name. Next one, eleven chapter deals with the preparation and the properties of the alkalis. Char karma, see, what is it? Preparation and the properties of the alkalis. Alkalis is not new to here. It is there like centuries back. These are the these have been explained very very clearly. Because the chara karma is a very very chara karma or chara kalpana is very very popular uh, concept or system in this in in surgery in cellular in cellular chikitsa in the system of Ayurveda. Even in this chara karma, even surgery Ayurveda surgical procedures have been conducted in. Every state in every state, many PG medical colleges or UG medical colleges connected. But since see me, it is there in the system of Ayurveda. According to convenience, according to situation, when we are not doing, we have to be blamed. See, you can blame a person, you can blame me. Something wrong with me, you can blame me. But don't blame the science, don't blame the system, is it not? These these are with evidences. These are with evidences. Okay, now 11th chapter deals with the Alkalis, Chara Kalpana or Chara Karma. Okay, so Susurta, Sutrasthana, 11th chapter. So they may ask the chapter number, try to understand. They may ask the chapter number or they may ask the chapter name or the main content, the agenda or the main content of the each chapter they may ask you. Now 12th chapter deals with the application of Agni Karma catalyzation, Agni, application of Agni Karma clearly mentioned. Even today we are following the same procedures, is it not? 13th chapter, 13th chapter deals with the leeches and their surgical uses. Jalvi to remove the impure blood, to remove the impure blood in olden days, what are the interesting surgical procedures? If you are going to the uh, as I am from Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, whatever you say, as my coaching center, LN Ayurvedic PG entrance coaching center situated in Hyderabad city, we have stressing available college, for example, Dr. BRK or Government Ayurvedic Medical College. The surgical procedures in, have been conducted and conducting, just go there. And watch them. People are there. Experts are there. Experts are there. If you are watching the procedure, you will come to know the concept. Then you will come to know the effect. Then you will come to know how far our science, the system of Ayurveda, Salya Karma is perfect with a better effect. You will come to know. You want to watch it. We have, with the patients, if you are watching the patients, you will have the essence from Ayurveda, especially from surgical aspects of Ayurveda. You have to go through it very very clearly. See what I mean to say, concept is there, keep on paper, no concept, you can throw it away. Concepts are there in the Ayurveda, so you have to accept it, you have to welcome them. You have to welcome them. It is the responsibility of the public and it is the responsibility of the government to protect our heritage. Our, it is our everybody's property. Ayurveda or medical science, any medical science, I mean especially Ayurveda, it is our property, it is our heritage, is it not? You have to protect it. 13th chapter is over. Now 14th chapter deals with the origin and the properties of the blood. 14th chapter deals with origin and the properties of the blood. Rakta Varnana is there. What is the blood? Today you are, is today you are speaking about the RBC, WBC, so many things are there. Is it not in a blood, complete blood picture if you are watching? Without or with, without or with these, how in olden days, the classical uh, exact blood picture was there in olden days. By watching the subject to symptoms in olden days, they used to reveal the facts related to the pure blood and impure blood. Clearly they have mentioned. If you are watching Jailo Kacharana, you will come to know. If you are watching the Dosha Lakshanas, if you are watching the Dhatu Lakshanas, Vurti Lakshanas, Shai Lakshanas, you will come to know. So, you have to prepare a good software, manual software or a computer software. If you are preparing every subject, every symptom, if you are analyzing, you will come to know. In nutshell, see, generally, in now today I have covered 14 bits nearly today. I have covered 14 bits. Any bit may come like that. In every in a 
series manner all the chapters of all the samhitas will be revealed stage by stage those who are interested for classes they can contact already monthly regular all uh, monthly four classes will be there regular or online according to according to convenience you can plug the you can club the situation according to your requirement you can plan the classes monthly subscription will be 1000 rupees the watching is different hope with your kind i mean with your cooperation with your uh, inspiration with your support the channel is going on smoothly and successfully i think so but still if you want to go through the subject matter to crack the seats in well repeated post graduate institutions you have to go through the subject regularly watch and call me in case of any need our number 9014141722 today's susurda sutrasthana what are the important bits which we have covered thank you today's class is over